Praise the Lord once again. My name is John Nathan Owara. I work with Scripture in Uganda. I coordinate Northern Region. As I usually say, I am married to Faith Irene Owara. Beautiful woman. Today, before we start, let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks and give you praise and give you glory for the opportunity to minister your word to these people. Lord, may whoever listens and watches this be blessed to walk in your ways. In Jesus' name. Amen. I read Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8. This is what it says. Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. This that I'm bringing to you is a father's instruction. And today, we want to understand who is a youth. I will use the acronym YOUTH again. Y, O, U, T, and H. So who is a youth? Listen to this father's instruction clearly. I have two daughters, beautiful daughters. So I am a father, but there is a father in heaven who is instructing you right now. So who is a youth? A youth is somebody who is young. Young, I mean energetic. Young, I mean beautiful. Young, I mean someone who has a lot of energy that needs to be put in a specific place or needs to be put to use. So a youth is somebody who is young. The law puts a youth Somebody between the age of 15 to 35. That is a youth. Me, I put a youth, somebody who is young, energetic, and has energy that needs to be put to the right use. That is a young person according to me. So why is for young? Why is also for somebody who is yourself? A youth is somebody who is yourself. If you're trying to be like somebody else, you're not a youth. If you're trying to be like me, you are not a youth. If you're trying to dress like me, you are not a youth. You must be yourself. This is instruction. You must be yourself. Don't copy what you cannot afford. Do not copy what is not in your league. In football, we have Champions League. Some of you want to be champions when you're playing in kids' league. So please, keep to your league. Keep to your boundary keep to your area do not force yourself to be like someone else a youth is somebody who should be their self so be yourself be yourself don't behave like someone else a youth is somebody who is him or herself a youth is somebody who is obedient that's why the scripture is saying that hear this instruction from a father a youth is somebody who's obedient if you are disobedient you have left the league of a young person in other words, you're trying to be your own self. You're trying to be a parent. You're trying to be somebody else. You cease to be a young person. A youth is somebody with a father, with a mother, with an uncle, with an auntie, and listens to instruction. So a youth is somebody who is obedient. A youth is somebody who is organized. Yeah, you got to be organized. You got to brush your hair. If you're a young person, why do we force you to brush your hair? Why do we force you to brush your teeth? Some of your mouth, when you open your mouth, even the flies die. It's dangerous for you. You cease to be a young person. A youth is somebody that keeps their fingernails short and trimmed. A youth is somebody who bathes. You must bathe. How can water fear you? No. How can you fear water? That's the, it should be like that. How can you fear water? In, okay, how can water fear you? Both of you fear each other. One of, let, don't fear water. Bathe. You must be organized. A youth is somebody who is understanding. You must understand. The God didn't give you a brain and put their cow dung. You don't have cow dung in your head. You have a brain. And the brain is for understanding. That's why we teach you. That's why we are instructing you. You must understand. You can't say that I go to school, I go to school, and I don't understand. How come your friends are understanding and yet you are not? A young person is somebody who understands. A young person for T is somebody who is teachable. As you're understanding, you, are, you must understand what you're taught. And as I speak to you right now, if you're a youth, 
you must be teachable. Have a teachable spirit. Have a teachable attitude. Have a teachable spirit in you. And be willing to learn. A youth is somebody who is talented. I'm not talking about being talented in eating only. Some of you eat four plates of food and you're still hungry. I'm not talking about that kind of talent. Talent. You must be, you could be talented in singing. Singing is a talent. It's not a gift. It's a talent. Worship is a gift. Singing is a talent. A talent is something you can shape up and learn. Something you can train yourself to do. That's a talent. I'm not talking about talent, being talented in theft. No. I'm talking about being talented in singing, being talented in cooking, being talented in doing so many other things that can bring glory to God. A youth is somebody who is hardworking. We have a lot of energy. Look at this. Look at these muscles. Look at this. In when we're growing up in school, let's call it Kabode, Kanyama. Eh? Youth have energy. Put this energy to work. Work hard. Slash the compound. Clean. That is a young person. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1, says this. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you. Put your energy to hard work. Listen to this instruction. And let's see if God will not open the gates of heaven and bless you. I hope that you put these instructions to good use. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you, both now and forever. God bless you. <laughs>